Rose Max, uh, I don't know what number we're on, fourth uh, food and nutrition uh, video. So for many of us, our favourite or very easy to grab snack bar before training or after is, is, is exactly that, an energy bar or a snack bar, a cereal bar. Now these are all very tasty, very convenient way of fueling our body. Um, but some of these home or these shop bought ones are, can be full of sugar. So today I think it'd be a good idea to make our own grab healthy snack bar. Okay, so we all know that if we perform on empty, we're very likely to crash and burn in terms of our performance. So these little treats are going to power us through our workout. Oats, honey, fruit, seeds, raisins, all easy to digest, especially the oats, really slow burning energy. Okay, along with our nuts and seeds, which have and contain all our protein and good fat. So let's not delay, let's get going. We have our little friend here to help. So we need quite a lot of oats, 300 grams of oats. These are already measured out, 300 grams of oats. Put them into your mixing bowl. I've used hazelnuts, cashew nuts, almonds, a few walnuts in there. You can use whatever nuts you like. Chop them up, add them in. Again, I've used a mix of raisins and cranberries. You could use dates, you could use figs, whatever you like. I'm not too strict on this. Um, a few seeds, sunflower seeds. Oh, actually, these are pumpkin seeds, aren't they? Pumpkin seeds. Okay. Seem to like. um, and another one of my faves, some desiccated coconut, coconut. and some sesame seeds. Ooh. Sesame seeds, haven't had those ones yet, have we? Ooh. Pop them in. It's 70 grams of each of those, by the way. 70 grams of each of those, but don't be too, don't be too strict. Okay, meanwhile, I'm just going to put that nice uh, flame going. And we're going to heat up, just for a minute, just to warm it up. 340 grams of runny honey. Okay, Ooh, so this will that's quite a lot, isn't it? It is, Mum, but something's got to bind these together and there's no uh, sugar in it. It's in natural, it's in refined sugar. We're just going to use the honey to sweeten up our treats. Mm -hmm. We're going to add a little bit of coconut oil, okay, but you don't have to do that. Again, I just like the taste um, and it will just make the little bars a little bit more uh, tender, succulent, moist. And then we need 340 grams of our peanut butter. Now you can use peanut butter or you can use tahini, up to you. Unlucky if you don't like peanut butter, but hopefully, hopefully you do. Okay, so you're just going to heat that up, give it a minute or so. You can do this in a microwave. So you can just put this in a microwave bowl, put it in there, put it in there to, to melt and just to get into a nice consistency so we can just add that to our dry mix. So let's mush that around a little bit, wait for that to get going and all we're going to do is add that in here, stir it around and get a nice kind of cookie dough mix that we're going to put in our already oiled baking tray. So just make sure your baking tray has got some spray on oil or you can use baking, baking sheet. Um, I've used again coconut oil because I like it. I like the taste, if you haven't I've already guessed. <laughs> okay, so I'm mixing that around. I am going to add a little bit, a little few, a few drops of um, vanilla essence as well. Up to you if you do that. It's quite tasty. Now that's getting into a liquid. I'm going to turn that off. Do you want to have a look at that one? You know, just melt it all up. Got it? Mm. Lovely. Yeah. Ooh, it smells a bit like a Thai green curry. Does it? Okay, we're going to add that in. Boy, yumba, yumba. Make sure you use a spatula so you get all the goodness out of that pan. Don't waste any. Do not waste any. We do not like waste. Nothing is usually left on Miss Matt's plate after a meal. 
Again, that's why I get a little bit upset on Wednesday lunch duties when certain year three and fours leave a lot of food on their plates. It does make me sad. Right, so we're kind of mixing that up and you can see what's happening there. We're getting our energy bar. Well, we're getting it to start to look a little bit like an energy bar, but make sure that's all, all mixed in and covers all the oats. Mm. Smells good. It does, doesn't it? Mm. Okay, so we're going to get that all in. We're going to put that into our baking tray. Very simple, very simple, but very effective and probably much better and cheaper in the long run than buying your own shop bought energy bars. There we go. I could put that on top of yogurt right now. Yeah. Without cooking it. It would be quite tasty. Mm. So you're going to bang it down. Okay, if it doesn't take up the whole of your baking tray, that's fine. You don't really want it to be too thin. You want a nice chunky bar when you cut into it. Push it down with some pressure so it's all compact. Compact power. Give you some that punchy power once you tuck into these once they're cooked. Okay, so those are going to go into the oven for 15 minutes on about 170. Let's see what they look like after. I'm, I'm, I'll probably have to post you a picture because we're not going to wait 15 minutes. <laughs> okay, but do post me, do post the pictures of your efforts every time we uh, do one of these videos. I'd love to see. Okay, good luck, have fun.